I wanted, you know, the whole time, um, especially high school, um, I was surrounded by drugs, alcohol, and religion. And I did, and to a certain extent still do, I say that with respect, clump those together. It was, it was, it was a way to not deal with a directness that I was interested in. And uh, uh, the reason, one of the reasons I didn't go to college, although I was, I was offered certain financial help and scholarships and so on, was I would say to my guidance counselor, send me to a place where I don't have to have any drugs, any alcohol, and are not religious. And they said, there's just not a place like that. Right. There just isn't a college you can find like that. And I said, my house will be that place. Mm -hmm. And I had that in my mind as just this uh, kind of aspirational thing with no idea that that would hurt people. And, the, and, I, and I, this is going to be a, a comparison that um, at first blush may seem not flattering and is absolutely more flattering than anything I could say to you. And that is, I once, you know Christopher Hitchens? Mm -hmm. Christopher Hitchens was a heavy duty drinker. Mm -hmm. uh, Christopher Hitchens was drinking all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, Christopher Hitchens came over my house to see a movie. Mm -hmm. And he walked up on the porch and he had a bottle of Jack Daniels in his hand. And I said, I have never had any liquor in this house. I never had anybody have any liquor in the house. It's the one place where that's mm -hmm. not going to be. And Hitchens stood there and held the bottle in his hand. And he said, well, I don't want to offend your religion. And I said, well, it's not mm. really that. It's just it's always been this place that I didn't have to deal that's with. That's safe. That. And he stood there with the bottle in his hand. And uh, he said, are you going to stop me from going into your house? And I said, and it's really important that you understand, I said this honestly, I said, I don't know. And he said, if I take another few steps, are you going to stand in my way going into your house? I said, I don't know. And we looked at each other for a really long time, and I had no idea what was going to happen. That's so rare. I didn't even have a branch or a tree. And he took the Jack Daniels, and he put it down on the porch and said, I'll pick that up on my way out. And gave me this huge hug. That's great. And we walked in together. And that was all part of all of this falling apart with me. Uh, I just had this idea that I was going to set up this one little corral around me. And although it seemed, and uh, I don't think I can ever explain this enough to justify it. Mm -hmm.